Hi, I'm Dr. Prasher, and I'm one of the board-certified, fellowship-trained spine surgeons at South Florida Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a few procedures that I specialize in, namely a minimally invasive lumbar fusion. Uh, traditionally, lumbar fusions were done through larger incisions, uh, which disrupt a lot of the normal musculature of the spine, uh, but also have increased amounts of blood loss, increased amounts of pain postoperatively, and longer hospital stays. With newer technology and newer techniques, we're able to do these procedures through much smaller incisions, less operative time, uh, less blood loss, and shorter hospital stays, and even in some instances we can do these as an outpatient. For the patient, that would mean a quicker recovery, faster return to sports and other activities, and overall a much better outcome than the traditional open method. So this condition in the spine is called spondylolisthesis, which is Greek for slipped spine. And generally this is a degenerative condition that affects the vertebrae number four and number five. And what happens is that vertebrae starts to shift forward. As it starts to shift forward, it starts to pinch some of the nerves in the back of the spine and causes spinal stenosis or sciatica. So this is an MRI scan of the lumbar spine or lower back where the front of the body is to the right and the back of the body is to the left here. The nerves in the spine are these gray lines going up and down and that white stuff is normal spinal fluid around the nerves. Now on the MRI what spinal stenosis looks like is this area in the middle here. We don't see much white space around those nerves so as those nerves are being pinched this is what's causing this patient's pain down the legs, sciatica pain, difficulty walking longer distances, uh, and lower back pain. So this is a picture of a patient that had the same patient who had the surgery to relieve the symptoms of spinal stenosis by opening up the space around the nerves, but also stabilizing that flip, slipped vertebrae through the uh, two small one inch incisions uh, in the lower back. So this is the minimally invasive lumbar fusion which is accomplishes the same goals as the traditional open techniques through those small incisions uh, and also improves the alignment of the spine, fixing this person's problem and getting her back to her normal lifestyle as soon as possible. So after surgery, generally the recovery is somewhere between four to six weeks. Uh, people are generally up and walking that same day and usually right after the procedure you have a significant improvement in the sciatica type pain in the legs. Uh, generally at about six weeks you can gradually return to normal activities. Full recovery is by three months where you can return to unrestricted activity and without any significant pain or sciatica type symptoms. So if you've been diagnosed with spondylolisthesis or spinal stenosis and you are curious to see if you would be a good candidate for these minimally invasive procedures, please feel free to call South Florida Orthopedics and request an appointment to see me to see what your options are so we can get you back to an active lifestyle as soon as possible.